Alejandro Mayorkas, who joins us now. Secretary Mayorkas, thank you for joining us this morning. Good morning, George. Thank you for having me. So, you know, the president's come under fire from some of his closest allies uh, over these new asylum policies, the ACLU, the head of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus, several Democratic senators, including Bob Menendez, who called it an inhumane relic of the Trump administration's racist immigration agenda. Your response? George, I, you know, there are three core principles here. Number one, we are dealing within a broken immigration system that Congress has failed to repair for decades. And there is unanimity with respect to that reality, number one. Number two, the world is dealing with the greatest displacement of people since World War II, and the Western Hemisphere, our entire hemisphere, is gripped with a migration challenge. And three, we here in the United States are uh, premising our actions on the following. We want individuals who qualify for relief under our laws to come to the United States in a safe and orderly way. And that is why we are building lawful pathways so people do not have to place their lives and their life savings in the hands of ruthless smugglers. Those are the three core principles underlying our actions. That's the reality that we are dealing with. But as you know, Mr. Secretary, your allies say that the administration's continued use of this Title 42 uh, authority is what the problem is right now, and the administration has the ability to end that policy on its own. George, we've tried to end the use of Title 42. We sought to end it, and we were prevented from doing so by a district court in Louisiana. So we cannot use our ordinary immigration authorities to the fullest extent we've tried to. And so under the court's order, we are continuing to apply Title 42 until the Supreme Court's ruling. But the Supreme Court does say you can act on your own. But the district court in Louisiana does not. The district court in Louisiana, when we tried to use our ordinary immigration enforcement authorities under Title VIII of the United States Code prevented us from doing so and said that we had to employ Title 42 to the full extent of our capabilities. You really are taking it from both sides on this issue. The Texas Governor, we saw Greg Abbott in the piece there. He calls this a Band-Aid, and he says you need to be adding more funding and resources to border enforcement right now. Well, uh, Governor Abbott uh, is not collaborating with the federal government on an issue that requires collaboration. We cannot have the rights and the needs of individuals who are seeking humanitarian relief in the United States be exploited for political purposes. We cannot have unilateral governor action that is not coordinated with the federal government to address uh, an issue that is of national importance. As of yesterday morning, Kevin McCarthy is Speaker of the House, and back in November, he suggested that you might be impeached if you don't resign. Here's what he said. If Secretary Mayorkas does not resign, House Republicans will investigate every order, every action, and every failure will determine whether we can begin impeachment inquiry. What's your response to the Speaker? I am joining the president today uh, on his visit to El Paso, Texas. I've been to the border quite a number of times. I'm joining the president at the North American Leaders Summit in Mexico City uh, to work with our partners in Mexico and Canada to address the security of the homeland. I've got a lot of work to do. I'm proud to do it alongside 250,000 incredibly dedicated and talented individuals in the Department of Homeland Security, and I'm going to continue to do my work. So you have no intention of resigning? I do not. I've got a lot of work to do, and we're going to do it. Are you prepared for the investigations? I am. I will be, and I'll continue to do my work throughout them. As you said, you're going to be joining the president today, both at the border and then on to Mexico. What do you hope to accomplish on this mission? Um, I have uh, been to El Paso as recently as just a few weeks ago. I've been there quite a number of times. I've spoken with the president. He's requested uh, my visits to the border. I've gone uh, on my own, of course. And I want him to see the extraordinary work of the men and women of the United States Border Patrol, 
of Customs and Border Protection's field operations, how we have surged resources to address a challenge that is not unique to the southern border of the United States. It's a challenge that is uh, really gripping our entire hemisphere. You know, George, uh, I was in Colombia just a few weeks ago, uh, the country of Colombia, and there are 2.4 million Venezuelans in Colombia now. I was in Costa Rica a few months ago, and Costa Rica's population is increasing in the number of Nicaraguans. I was in Ecuador a few weeks ago, and they too are really experiencing unprecedented migration challenges. This is something that is not unique to the United States. It's gripping the hemisphere, and a regional challenge requires a regional solution. And that's one of the elements of the North American Leaders Summit that we look forward to addressing. Secretary Mayorkas, thanks for your time this morning. Thank you.